you know, one of the ways um, we can get to know one another is asking questions to which there is not a yes or no answer. So a lot of, I know statistically, this is hard to believe, I'm sure, for, some, for a lot of us, lawyers are statistically mostly introverted. I, I don't even, I mean, I, I, I understand the science behind it, I don't get it, but especially the litigators, I mean, like, you know, turn it, and some of them, I'm sure we all know people like, so they just can't turn it off, they're just antagonistic all the time. <laughs> Anyway, but um, so for introverts particularly, I know going into networking situations or professional um, association gatherings, it can be very difficult and very uncomfortable because you don't know what to say or you don't know, you know, how, who to go, how to go up and to introduce yourself to someone. Not that you don't know how, it's just beyond your comfort zone. So a couple of tips that I would provide that are I think they're awesome, and I didn't make, these are not my original ideas, is one, extend yourself as a hostess or a host. Oftentimes when we have a role to play, if we put the hat on of a host or hostess, it's easier to extend, extend our hand um, and say, you know, hi, I'm Kimberly, you know, what brings you here today? That's an open-ended question. So it could be, well, my boss is here and I'm speaking, or it could be I'm new to the area and I'm looking for a job, or it could be whatever. But you want to get this person that you're speaking to talking. Because usually, most people's favorite topic is ourselves. And you probably don't know more about anything than yourself. Um, <laughs> just because you've lived with yourself all your years. Um, and so, um, if you, you know, have that genuine interest and, in, you know, if it's someone is looking for a job or they're looking to make a change or they're, whatever their issue is, if you ask open-ended questions such as what brings you here today or, you know, how long have you been in this area or how long have you been a paralegal, have you um, transitioned between litigation and securities or whatever, you know, and, and you learn genuinely about that person and it certainly doesn't need to all be professional. You know, it could, you know, lots of times we talk about our children, we talk about our furry babies, we talk about, you know, whatever's going on in their lives. It's the, the, the main point is it's relationship building steps we take to get to know one another and we get out of ourselves. So oftentimes when I'm delivering a networking presentation or program to lawyers, um, I do take a little joy in saying, it's not about you. Ultimately, it's not about us. It's about the other person. So when we're networking, you know, all the time I hear lawyers say, oh, well, I, networking just doesn't really work. I don't have a lot of time. You know, I go and I give out my cards and I don't get any clients. Yeah, because that's not the objective of networking. Networking, the objective of networking is, and it means a lot of things to a lot of people, is it's an opportunity to gather in a space of like-minded individuals, whatever that common denominator is, to expand your relationship base, therefore your network, and to understand kind of from a, what we say sometimes a competitive scan to see what other firms are doing or you know maybe new processes or new systems that other firms are using or whatever the main objective of the program is or to gather to learn more about social media and have something in common and how one each and every one of us can help one another. Um, oftentimes we sell ourselves short in thinking I don't really have anything to give anyone. And this is particularly true if it's a business development um, component to it, to which I say, business development or otherwise, fully on that. We all have gifts and talents and connections and wisdom and experience that is unique to each and every one of us. You know, if you speak to a person and, and you speak long enough and you kind of pull back the layers or, the, you know, peel the onion, Per, figuratively, you may find that they have an autistic ch child and they need, you know, a um, um, special educator. And, oops, what do you know? Your husband is a special educator. You just never know what those connections are going to be that can push you forward just by nature of the relationship.